Baldwinsville, New York, in the HBR JNB installations. Number 98H, the Baldwinsville Bandit, Jimmy Phelps. Third row to the inside. Driving out of Unadilla, New York, the Smithside Development, Tamco, number 91, the Franklin Flyer, Billy Decker. And alongside of him at a Boyertown, Pennsylvania, the Conestoga Valley Custom Kitchens, Terry Fosnock, owned number 2A, Mike Gouler. Fourth row to the inside, driving out of East Corinth, Vermont. In the Gage Lawn Care and Landscape, Gray Electric, number 215 is Adam Pearson. And alongside of him, he drives out of Whitney Point, New York. The Mid-State Recycling RKR Racing, number 58M, is Marshall Hurd. Fifth row to the inside out of Hellertown, Pennsylvania. The Hoffman Discount Parts, Superior Auto Service, number 27, is Doug Snyder. And alongside of him out of Dwaynesburg, New York, he drives in the Mickles Automotive. Wits Roofing, number 2, RJ, it's Ronnie Johnson. Sixth row to the inside, driving in the next, gener roof, gen next generation roofing number 26 out of Boston Spa, New York, is Derek McGrew, Jr., and alongside of him, out of North Bennington, Vermont, the big boys' toys number 87 is Neil Stratton. Seventh row to the inside, driving out of Garnerville, New York, the Schultz Ford, Curdy's Landscaping number 21M is big brother Bob McGannon. And alongside of him in the Todd Robards contracting, Gin Trucking number three out of Avaca, New York, is Jacob Gin. Row number eight to the inside, driving out of Georgetown, Delaware, the Grebe Construction, Leah Anderson, Caldwell Banker, number 33, is Sean Metz. And alongside of him, out of Cream Ridge, New Jersey, the IHOP, Chambers Overhead Door, number 5C, is Steve Davis. 17th starting spot out of Three Rivers, Quebec, Canada, in the Genic Subway, Bellamere, excavating number 35, is Francois Bellamere. And alongside of him, out of Roscoe, New York, the Quality Forestry Products, TJC Paving, number 28, is Mike Trouchel. And rounding out the field, he hails out of Ransomville, New York, in the National Maintenance Contracting Corporation, St. Lawrence Radiology, number 25, it's Run, Run, Rudolph, Eric Rudolph. For those of you tuning in at home on Flow Racing, we're getting a couple of raindrops here at the track again, so we're going to keep the cars under caution in case you're wondering why we didn't go green right away. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you. You've been very excellent here today, very uh, orderly, very patient, waiting in line when you were doing the autographs. We cannot say thank you enough to John Snyder. He's been here since... Before noon today, did the uh, luncheon from 12.30 to 1.30 and signed autographs for nearly two hours, meeting all of you, the racing family. He's part of our racing family. As we mentioned, he does race the B-modified division, races the modified division in Louisiana. He is a race racer just like we are. We thank him for being a part and being our grand marshal here at Cherokee Speedway, the place your mama warned you about. And our first experience with John on the Short Track Super Series and a magnificent opening to our program tonight. We're going to give the thumbs up, thumbs down now from the drivers to one of our on-track officials. Again, we have practice here Thursday night, qualifying heat races last night. These are the drivers that did not finish in the top five spots in the four qualifiers last night. They drew for their starting spots, then ran the four 20-lap qualifiers last night. Top five from each of those qualified, so we have 20 already locked into the feature. We'll run two B-mains and qualify five more out of each, putting 30 starters into tonight's 50-lap A-Main, which pays a whopping 25000 to win. We completed three modified events in the month of February.
and they were all at Alltech Raceway in the Sunshine Swing, February 9th. Mad Shepard winning over Billy Pouch Jr. and Mark Johnson, February 10th. Larry White getting his first series win over Eric Rudolph and Billy Pouch Jr. in February 11th. Michael Moreska his first series win over Larry White and Eric Rudolph. 602 Sportsman Division drivers. They were on the program as well at All Tech for the Sunshine Swing. February 9th, the winning driver Steve Davis over Jeff Watson and Dylan Madsen. February 10th, Scott Hitchens over Tom Princiata and Joe Toth. February 11th was Michael Ballestero over Dylan Madsen and Alex Bell. Looks like our precipitation leaving up. So we're going to give them a couple quick laps here to make sure the track is worked in. We have had 28 different racetracks host a short track super series event in 131 events completed. Georgetown Speedway with the most at 17. Afton Speedway has 11. Orange County Fair Speedway, Thunder Mountain Speedway with 10. Port Royal Speedway, Accord, and Delaware International Speedway each with 7. All Tech Raceway, Bridgeport Motorsports Park with 6. Woodhull Raceway, Baps Motor Speedway, Big Diamond Speedway with five. Fonda, New Egypt and Outlaw Speedway with four. Chatham or Super B Speedway, Arklatech Speedway, Penn Can and Bubba Raceway Park with three. Two races at Tri-County Racetrack, Albany, Saratoga. And one event at the Rev Revolution Park, Boot Hill in Louisiana, Utica, Rome, Bloomsburg, Sealance Grove, Potomac. And one here at Cherokee, but tonight when we get the feature on the track, it'll be number two. Stuart Friesen, the all-time leading feature winner. He has 33 career modified wins with our series. Matt Shepard with 22. Ryan Godown. Anthony Perego had eight. Billy Pouch Jr. Ryan Watt. Andy Bichetti with six. Danny Creedon has five. Eric Rudolph, four. Two wins for Jeff Strunk, Matt Williamson, Mike Gouler, Jordan Watson, David Van Horn Jr., and Rick Laubach. Single winners, Michael Moreska, Larry White, Mike Mahaney, Max McLaughlin, Steve Payne, Richie Pratt Jr., Billy Decker, Mark Johnson, Billy Van Pelt, Jeremy Smith, Jerry Higby Jr., Rusty Smith, Dwayne Howard, Jimmy Horton. Looks like we're getting ready to go. Chad Cook, Wade Hendrickson, Tommy Meyer, Brian Malcolm, Jackie Brown Jr., Sean Walker, and Danny Johnson. Here we go, Cherokee Speedway, BMA number one. Anthony Perego will lead the way into the corner. Jimmy Phelps to the inside, going by the 27 of Jeremy Pitts. Jeremy Pitts. Down the back straight away now, we got Mike Cooler battling with Pitts for the number three spot. Three, make it four wide, almost into the corner. Gouler and Pitts made a little bit of contact. Billy Decker trying to get out of the fight. Gouler and Pitts still going at it. Gouler slides up the racetrack. Here comes Billy Decker. They're battling third, fourth, and fifth. Decker will come out of the shuffle on the bubble. He's got the 55 of Brett Haas trying to reel him in. Down the straightaway. 
Pitts keeping Guler at bay. Pitts is in third, Guler's fourth. Billy Decker now fifth with a hot load of race cars behind him. We've got Haas, Hurd, and Adam Pearson next in line behind Billy Decker. Battle for the lead up front. Perego now with Jimmy Phelps breathing down his back. Breathing down his neck, Jimmy Phelps, the Baldwinsville Bandit, making his short track Super Series debut this weekend. Anthony Parango, a multi-time winner in the short track Super Series, now trying to creep away from Phelps. Riding in third is Jeremy Pitts, Mike Guler, and Billy Decker, still your top five. Anthony Parango continuing to lead the way over the 98H of Jimmy Phelps into the corner. Jeremy Pitts keeping Guler at bay. Brent Haas now making a play on the 91 of Billy Decker. Haas reeling in Billy Decker. How desperate will Brett Haas get the sheriff? Di- driving in his day prime map tools number 55. Haas a winner last year at the Fonda Speedway. As we come to cross flags halfway this time by, how desperate can you get for one of those transfer spots to the Rebel 50? Mike Cooler moving in now with Jeremy Pitts. A battle side by side off of turn two for that number three spot and Billy Decker is being hounded now by the 55 Brent Haas. Haas right behind Decker out of four. Right in front of them a battle for third as Guler showed a nose to the inside of Jeremy Pitts. Pitts shut the door on him and all of a sudden Decker and Haas are closing in on that two car battle and it don't count out Marshall Hurd yet Jeff. We might have a five car battle shaping up for third as Pitts has Guler on his bumper. Yes he does. Jeremy Pitts is feeling the heat from Mike Guler a couple of times. But Billy Decker now is moving in on Mike Guler. Back and forth they go. One car reeling in another. Everybody trying to find a way to make a pass, make some moves, and get themselves into a transfer spot. Decker trying to get off the bubble. Perego and Phelps are comfortable. Pitts, Guler, and Decker are not. Heading through the corner now. Anthony Perego's got the lead. Oh, Guler is in trouble. Mike Guler in the number two, in trouble in turn number two. From bad to worse for the 2A of Mike Guler. Guler, the Boyertown, Pennsylvania native, a two-time short track Super Series winner in his career. Jeff Guler was riding in a redraw spot last night in his qualifier inside of five laps to go. He blew a right rear tire tonight in the Conce, riding in a transfer spot with three laps to go something letting go on that 2a an absolutely rotten weekend down south here for mike guler yeah mike had a fast car right out of the gate even in practice on thursday night and he cannot catch a break and remember no provisionals tonight you gotta finish in a qualifying spot to make the main event for that 50 lap main event again eighty thousand dollars in purse money between our qualifiers last night and the 50 lap feature for this opening race of the Hallmark International Elite Series event, part of the Bob Hilbert Sportswear Short Track Super Series fueled by Sunoco. Another B main after this, the two heat races for the Sharp Mini Late models and then our 50 lap modified feature. And Jeff, you know, we've got a tale of two stories of guys who have had bad luck. Anthony Perego, his bad luck came early in the week. He broke in practice, got into the first turn wall. Then he drew 75 for his heat race yesterday. But after that, it's gone much, much better for Perego. He was very strong in his heat race, got the pole here for his B main, and he's now leading it. Mike Guler, on the other hand, his week started strong. He drew well, was fast in practice, but since then it's gone downhill. Perego's in a transfer spot. Guler's on the hook and likely headed back to Pennsylvania. Yeah, unfortunate for Mike. One of the uh, great drivers, he has really upped his game, of course, uh, spreading his wings, so to speak, running the PA. 358 circuit for quite a number of years has been branching out, running other things, doing the short track super series circuit. And uh, he has definitely has uh, improved his game, winning a championship at Grandview, then the next year, Big Diamond, then last year at New Egypt. So he's been spreading himself out, doing well on the short track super series as well. Well, Billy Decker was getting pressure from behind for that last qualifying spot with the demise of Guler, Brett Haas, in the day prime Mac Tools. 55 will now move up a notch, but Marshall Hurd is right there. Ronnie Johnson behind him and Adam Pearson. Leaders on the top. Here they come.
Jeremy Pitts gets squirrely on the restart. He gets into Hurd. Hurd goes around. Pitts will drive away. Heartbreak for Marshall Hurd. Jeff, it looked like he'd gotten two cars on the restart, and something happened to Jeremy Pitts in front of him, and Hurd tagged him. And, Jeff, it looks like we've got a replay for those at home on Flow Racing. Yeah, what a heartbreaker. Marshall wasn't in a qualifying spot yet. Here comes the Sunoco Race Fuels instant replay on Flow Racing for those watching at home going into the turn. Pitts went right up the racetrack. He went right across about three lanes that looked like the car pushed on him going to the corner. That got everybody messed up. Derek McGrew Jr. has got a right front wheel problem. It's a flat tire. Whether or not the brake locked up, I don't know. Looks like it might be just a flat, but something may have been bent in the right front wheel of Derek McGrew Jr. They got all jammed up going into the corner. And a heartbreaker for Marshall Hurd out of Whitney Point, New York. The intensity, Chris, you can see the intensity. These guys trying so desperately to make those top five spots. So Perego, again, on the Short Track Super Series, we do double file restarts in qualifying all the way to the end. After one lap is in, leader is lane choice. Our leader, the 44, Anthony Perego, is picking the top lane. 98, Jimmy Phelps on the bottom. 27, Jeremy Pitts. 91, Billy Decker. Brett Haas in the 55 will now move to fifth. And the 2RJ, Ronnie Johnson, is alongside. One more B-Main drivers and Sharp Mini Lake models. Your heats will be next. Please be ready. Thank you. We want to remind everybody as well, we have apparel on sale for our Northeast Dirt Modifies. The Short Track Super Series merchandise trailer is located on the first turn side of the grandstands right in front of the men's bathroom. We've also got Billy Pouch Jr. shirts available here right below the tower. Max McLaughlin, his apparel trailer is down in turn one. And Stuart Friesen, his wife Jessica Friesen, is selling down in turn one as well. Stuart Friesen apparel. So all kinds of apparel available for you South Carolina, North Carolina natives who enjoy our Northeast Dirt Modifieds. Feel free to head on over to the Short Track Super Series apparel trailer or one of the several drivers selling here in the grandstand area. Lights are out. We're going to go green this time. Perego's your leader. He's on the top. He's got Phelps alongside. Then it's Pitts and Decker, Haas, and Ronnie Johnson looking to make the show. Charging back to green on the restart. Here comes Ronnie Johnson. We got a car sideways down here. Brett Haas. Haas was in a qualifying spot. He's sideways and he spins. Wow. Brett Haas in a qualifying spot now in trouble in turn number one. You know, Jeff, Brett Haas just did the exact same thing that Jeremy Pitts did. I don't know if the Flow Racing guys got it. It almost looks like there might be a wet spot down there in turn number one, just a small spot that if you... It looks like it may just be a small spot that if you catch wrong, you lose the front end of the race car, and it takes you across because Haas just did the exact same thing that Jeremy Pitts did on the prior restart. He shot across the racetrack. Unfortunately for him, he was the one to go around. Well, one guy that didn't want to see that caution was Ronnie Johnson in the 2RJ. He had two cars gained on that restart, but they'll all go back to where they were. We do not advance another lap. We have scored nine, three to go. Nine down, three to go. And now all of a sudden that sixth position has been one that guys have tried to take advantage of. It looked like Marshall Hurd was going to take advantage of it a few restarts ago. He got washed up in a wreck. Ronnie Johnson, as you mentioned, Jeff, was going to take advantage of it there on that last restart. Now it's Adam Pearson's turn. Can he make something happen? Can we get through one and two? Green flag. We're back on our way. Charging back to green. Billy Decker's on the outside of Jeremy Pitts. Can't get him. And Adam Pearson putting the pressure on Ronnie Johnson. Johnson not getting the restart he did the last time. He's now in protection mode, trying to hold on to fifth. 
Parallel sticks, two to go this time by for Perego. Phelps right there, Pitts, Decker, and Ronnie Johnson in the top, in the five transfer spots. Pearson and Doug Snyder trying to reel him in. I, meanwhile, RJ going right back to work. He's trying to reel in Billy Decker and get off the bubble. Jimmy Phelps running second behind leader Anthony Perego down the straightaway. Two white flag final lap in BJ number one. Decker putting the pressure on Pitts. Followed by the two RJ, Ronnie Johnson. Final lap for Anthony Perego. Working through three and four. His week started rotten. It's turned around since. He'll pick up the win in B-Main number one. Anthony Perego wins B-Main number one. Jimmy Phelps, Jeremy Pitts, Billy Decker, and Ronnie Johnson have qualified for the Rebel 50. 33 of Sean Metz got up into the fence down there in one and two. He might need some help from the record crew, but the checkered is out pending the scales, Jeff. We've got five more guys to the show. Yes, we do. 44, Anthony Perego winning. 98, eight, Jimmy Phelps second. 27, Jeremy Pitts third. Fourth, the 91, Billy Decker. And fifth to the to-do RJ of Ronnie Johnson. B main number two will line up this way. Pole position. Driving the Hallmark International 43, Jimmy Horton alongside of him. The Scott Hamlin Racing. SNS Asphalt Payments 3J, Mark Johnson. Second row inside the Dry Dean Racing Development 35, LJ Lombardo. And alongside the Fire Management Control of Pennsylvania 84Y is Alex Jankowski. Third row inside the Wild Animal Farm 11T, Jeff Taylor. And alongside the friendly Ford 14J, Alan Johnson. Fourth row to the inside, driving the Amwell Auto Body, Plumbing and Car and Truck Country. Purino and Sons Contracting 29 is Ryan Creighton. Alongside, driving the Rent Equip Party Central 97, Matt Smith. Fifth row inside the Airfish Automotive, 119 WB James. And alongside of him, the PMC Race Car, St. Lawrence Radiology, number 20, is the thrilling David Schilling. Sixth row inside the Homer International, DNL Excavating, 55, Allison Rickey. And alongside the Steve Huff Motorsports, Rider Racing 21A is Peter Britton. Seventh row inside the Homer International, 15M, Daniel Morgevitz. Outside in the George Honeycone. Adirondack Auto Tony Monaco Landscaping 35 is Mike Mahaney. Row 8 inside, driving the Ace Material 6, Matt Stangle. Outside the 88C, that will be the Crawl Heating and Air Conditioning. Clay Realty, G-Force, Quick Change Gears, number 88C of Jared Umbenhauer. Final row, the... Trailer Country 66M, Corbin Miller. And the Nival Plumbing and Heating, number $18 of Sean Beardsley. Those are your eligible starters. Again, 12 laps. We will qualify five. Jeff, update on the lineup, the 35 LJ Lombardo getting pushed back to his trailer. He was unable to fire, so Lombardo will not start the B-Main. We will cross them over. So from fourth on back, all moving up a spot for their transfer spot. Twelve more laps, five more to the show. The final five cars will transfer to the Rebel 50 work green. B-Main number two underway, Alex Jankowski battling down the back straightaway side by side with Jimmy Horton. There are three wide on the back straightaway now. Peter Britton not getting a good lap as he loses a couple of spots battling with Mike Mahaney. We got one facing the wrong direction on the back straightaway. We complete lap number one and down there in turn number three is the $18 sign of Sean Beardsley. So is the $18 sign of Sean Beardsley, the car around on the entrance of turn number three.
All right, complete restart, no lap score. We did not get everybody across. Complete restart, 12 laps ahead. Here they come. Off the corner, Green is out. Horton and Johnson. Johnson crosses Horton over. He'll go to the inside. Down the back straightaway, Allen Johnson in the 14th. Battling down the back straightaway with Jeff Taylor, Ryan Krejcian, and Alex Jankowski. Jimmy Horton went to school on that last restart. He jumped, got in front of Mark Johnson, and he'll set the pace. Johnson, Jankowski, Johnson, the top four. Jeff Taylor, meanwhile, is under, under fire. Here comes Ryan Krejcian. Here comes the thrilling David Schilling. Out of the corner, it remains Jimmy Horton with the lead. We got Schilling battling with Krejcian off the corner further back in the pack. Schilling and Creason got together. They back out of him. Matt Smith is right there with him, battling down the back straightaway as well. Meanwhile, up front, it remains Horton 1, Mark Johnson 2, Jankowski and Alan Johnson. Top four pretty well settled in right now. Alan Johnson a groove lower. Everybody else up on that cushion. Jeff Taylor rides in the fifth and final transfer spot. Ryan Creason. Creason was one of the quickest cars on Thursday night in practice. He drew poorly. He's got work to do. He's going to try and run down the 11 T of Jeff Taylor. Taylor enters on the bottom. Creason up against that cushion down in one and two. Creason driving like a madman trying to reel in Jeff Taylor. Yeah, Ryan Creason one spot away. He and David Schilling were battling for several laps after they brushed together out of turn four or two laps ago. Schilling losing ground on Creason. Creason desperately trying to catch Jeff Taylor. Meanwhile, a sensational one, the veteran Jimmy Horton leading the way over Mark Johnson. Six down, six to go. Jimmy Horton setting the pace here at the halfway point. Mark Johnson, Alex Jankowski, and Alan Johnson have settled in. So is the 11T of Jeff Taylor. Creighton continuing the search, try and reel him in. Taylor running that middle groove. Creighton's up against the cushion down in one and two. Everybody searching. Taylor trying to hang on to it. Into the turn. Horton leading the way down the back straightaway. Right one career short track super series win. That came in the Melvin Joseph Memorial several seasons back. Mark Johnson, the new addition to our short track super series lineup, running in second, followed by Alex Jankowski. Jimmy Horton comfortable out in front. Jeff Creechin looks like he's getting a little closer. He just made a mistake that time down in one and two. The car pushed hard, but he got a good run off of two. Creechin certainly starting to cut into that gap between himself and Jeff Taylor. Does he have enough time? We've got nine complete, three to go. Creechin's within a couple of car lengths. Charging down the straightaway. Further back in the pack, we've got Jared Umenhauer, Allison Ricky, and David Schilling battling. Two to go now on your leader, Jimmy Horton, heading into the corner. Craig Chin is getting closer and closer to Jeff Taylor. He's caught him as they reach turn number one. Taylor changed his line that time. He entered higher on the last lap, this time a little lower. Creechin was trying to set him up for a slide job. Creechin is there on the back bumper. White flag one more time around for Horton. Johnson, Yankowski and Johnson. Taylor and Creechin going to do battle in a one and two. Yeah, they go. Final lap. Taylor's got the spot. Creechin's digging hard as they head down the back. Checker flag, BB number two will wave for Jimmy Horton. Mark Johnson, Jankowski, Allen Johnson next across the line. And the last qualifying spot will go to Jeff Taylor. Creechin coming up one short, followed by Schilling, Ricky, Umbenhauer, Smith, James, Britain and Mahaney.